This is Johanna Thomas at the Health Optimization Summit here in Kensington's Olympia. It is such an honor to be able to talk with the world-renowned lifestyle guru, Dave Asprey of Bulletproof Coffee fame and so much more. Dave, welcome to the Way Forward Show. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Now, normally I would intro my guests, but in case I don't do you justice, please would you tell us, who is Dave Asprey? <laughs> Uh, people call me a professional biohacker or the father of biohacking. And biohacking is the art and science of changing the environment around you so that you have control of your own biology. I'm a best selling author. I've created Bulletproof Coffee, which is a couple hundred million cups of coffee. People have lost more than a million pounds. What is that? Half a million kilos? Wait, not Wait. money. Both, yeah. maybe. It's a good point. <laughs> And I have no idea how many stones that is. People lost a lot of stones on the Bulletproof right. lifestyle. And so I'm pretty well known for my podcast, which is one of the top 500 on iTunes around how do we take control of our bodies and make them do what we want. Excellent. And what exactly, how exactly would you define biohacking? Biohacking, uh, as a new word in the English language as of 2018. Thanks to you. In the dictionary. With your name. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was cool. It's... The art and science of changing the environment around you and inside of you so that you have control of your biology. And the, the cool thing there is your body listens to you somewhat, but it sure does listen to the world around you. So you make a few tweaks and suddenly you have more energy and you look the way you want to look and you act the way you want to act and everything's easier. It's easier. So what does optimal health mean for you personally? Optimal health is something that is a different definition for different people. Mm -hmm. There was a time in my life where I felt like I was putting the accelerator all the way to the floor and I was slowing down and I could push harder but nothing would happen. So then optimal health was, I just want to feel enough energy all day long. And when I weighed 50% more than I weigh today, I would have said, you know, optimal health is just having a normal weight. And when my joints hurt all the time and I had massive brain fog, it would have been fixing those. So for most of us, optimal health is just getting rid of the things that we know are wrong, but we don't want to admit. But for, for me now, optimal health is, I'm going to live to at least 180. I just wrote my book, Superhuman, about that. And I'm not joking. This is actually something that can happen. But hold on, if you get to 180, then that's it. What, you're just gonna give up and then die? Or are you gonna push the, push the boundaries even further? I did say at least 180, right? Yeah, okay, right. <laughs> so you just keep going until the Until beyond. I'm done. done. And, and here's the thing, if when I'm 180, Age looks like we believe age is today, which is wheelchairs, tubes and monitors, and, and just being entirely dependent on other people. Maybe I'm done. But the picture of aging that I know is possible because I have seen it and I know the people working on it and I am working on it is, you know, when I'm old, I will have the same amount of energy that I have now. I'll move around under my own power. And most importantly, I will have the wisdom of many decades of experience and the energy and desire to share it with my kids and their kids and maybe even their kids. Exactly. And when you have a long-term view like that, you, you ch it changes everything, including how you take care of the world, how you take care of people, how you treat people. It's really important. We need our village elders back and they have to have enough energy. 100%, I agree. Now, as we know, around 93% of all diseases are lifestyle and environmentally brought upon ourselves. What two lifestyle and two environmental areas do you think are most important for people to address and a biohack for each? The single most important lifestyle issue is sleep. Okay. I have never wanted to sleep a lot. It turns out the quality of your sleep is more important than the quantity of your sleep. People who sleep nine hours a night die more of all causes than people who sleep seven hours a night. Mm -hmm. What this means is healthy people need less sleep but I focus on the quality of my sleep and the biohacks that really make a difference. I'm going to name a couple okay. that, that cost something and a couple that are free. Good one. Good. Okay. Perfect. Number one, you need to know how you're doing. You can wake up and not know if it was good sleep or bad sleep. And there's a ring called the Aura Ring. Yes. They're here at the Health Optimization Summit, O-U-R-A. And I was a CTO of a company in the space monitoring sleep. This is the best thing I've ever had for my sleep. I got two hours of deep sleep last night and an hour and a half of REM sleep in six and a half hours of total sleep, even though I just flew here from the west coast of the US. Yeah. Right, or Canada actually. So that's an incredible amount of sleep. And how would I know if I got good sleep or bad sleep? I wouldn't, my ring told me. Okay. The reason I could do that was True Dark Glasses, which is a company that I founded a few years ago that makes patented glasses that really help with jet lag. <laughs> in fact, you've got a, a set on your head. Yes. And so the quality of the light coming in. So those are the things you could buy. True dark glasses and an aura ring. Okay. But if you said, all right, I don't want to buy anything. 
blackout curtains. The darker your room, the better. So go around right now, and anything that has a blue, green, yellow, even red LED, unplug it or tape it over in your bedroom. Okay. And make sure no light comes in, and the quality of your sleep will go up. The other thing you do is turn the thermostat down or crack a window. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, lowering the temperature of your room, even by just a couple degrees or even a cool shower before bed, can make the quality of your sleep better. Same number of hours, but you wake up feeling better. A huge difference. That was one. Yeah. The second thing is, let's talk about what you do for breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's really common for people to say, I'm going to have toast, or I'm going to have fruit, or, or a smoothie, which is liquid sugar, basically. Yeah. Well, what works much better is either don't have breakfast. Have your tea or coffee with no sugar and no milk. Bulletproof coffee. Or bulletproof coffee, mm -hmm. which works. And there, that's just butter. And in the UK, it's called high octane oil, but it's brain octane oil in the rest of the world. Um, different laws around labeling here. Mm. And this oil raises something called ketones. We've all heard of the keto diet by now, but almost no one actually does it because right. it doesn't taste good and it takes a long time and it's awkward and it messes up your brain. And they do it wrong, I think. Yeah. They do do it wrong. Yeah. So what you can do then is... If you have just the amount of caffeine in two small cups of coffee and the brain octane oil, it'll raise your ketones in the morning. Ketones turn off hunger. So it sounds crazy, but you're going to have this for breakfast or just no breakfast, and you'll have more energy. You won't want, you won't want a croissant at 10 a.m., and all of a sudden lunchtime will come, and you realize, I guess I could eat. So just skipping breakfast, which is a form of intermittent fasting, yeah. really changes everything. I helped to popularize this with the Bulletproof Diet, my first big book in 2014, and now intermittent fasting is everywhere. It actually works, it saves you money, it saves you time. It's a massive improvement. Definitely, fantastic, okay. Question, if you were diagnosed with cancer tomorrow, what would be your protocol? I have interviewed some of the world's top cancer researchers mm -hmm. and studied mitochondria. In fact, uh, wrote a, one of the best-selling science books of 2018 around how mitochondria work. Cancer is a mitochondrial disorder. So if I was diagnosed with cancer, the first thing I'd do is find out what kind of cancer it was okay. <laughs> and uh, what it was sensitive to by doing cancer genetic testing. But in the meantime, I would immediately go into ketosis. I would immediately start intravenous ozone therapy, and I would spend a lot of time in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Uh, I would also look at something called C60 Health. I did an interview with a guy who uses a special form of carbon molecules to really have huge cancer effects. So I did a whole hour interview on Bulletproof Radio about that. So it'd be the C, uh, C360 or C, C60 Health, or C360 Health, I'm forgetting, okay. um, plus ozone therapy, yeah. plus hyperbaric oxygen, plus ketosis, and I would stop the sugar and particularly the fructose. And I wouldn't be surprised if that made almost any traditional cancer treatment work better. But of course, I would see a doctor. I would not avoid big pharma. I'm not saying I wouldn't do chemo or radiation or cancer, yeah. but I would do the mainline things first and I would track my progress like a maniac. The people say, I'm just gonna go all natural. Sometimes they die. Yeah. You need to get the data and if your natural approach doesn't work, go in for it because yeah. This is a big part of superhuman. You have a 50% greater chance of surviving cancer now than you did 10 years ago. We're actually starting to figure out how. You're gonna hate the treatment, but if you're so afraid of it, you don't look at it, you're not actually optimizing your health, you're giving it up. As I always tell my, my clients, is that prevention is better than cure. Yeah. If you can you know, do all this stuff before you actually get that diagnosis, that's much way better. Yeah. Um, so as a holistic nutritionist and wellness coach myself, I believe in bio-individuality where no diet is well, miracle is going to fix uh, everybody. But I did read, a, did, did hear on a podcast that you take over 20 supplements a day. 20? I take 150 supplements a wow. day. Wow. Okay, so who is this? Do you have a nutritionist yourself that tells you or advises you, or are you self prescribing, or how is it working, and what do you think? Uh, I've been doing this for 25 years. I formulate a professional grade supplements, uh, and I've worked with some of the best formulators and physicians and nutritionists in the world, uh, and I consult with them on their patients sometimes, so I would consider myself an expert in the field. Okay. The cool thing is, you don't need a license uh, to eat, and all of these are things that come from food. Fair enough. Uh, we haven't got much time left, so I'm just going to do a rapid fire phrase game. So I'm going to say a phrase to you, and you just tell me what comes into your head okay. as soon as it. Lectins destroy your health. Uh, only halfway true. Okay. Kale is a superfood. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to laugh. That would be uh, the uh, no. <laughs> That's what comes into mind. Bacon's a superfood. McDonald's, I'm loving it. They have great restrooms. 5G is safe. Hmm, that's a tough one. 
I, I don't know that I can have a short answer for that, okay. um, but uh, there are issues with it. Beyond meat, it looks, cooks, and satisfies like beef, better for you and the planet. Uh, I just wish we could get beyond processed food first. Global warming, the poles are melting. Well, that's what the satellites show. Chemtrails are real? I actually don't know, probably. Okay. I happily vaccinate my children, do the same. I would actually think that the conversation should be which vaccines at what time. Is this the European schedule, the American schedule, yeah. the Canadian schedule we're talking about? I'm well, so I confused. Think it, it, yeah, American would be hell in, in my book, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> my wife is a doctor trained in Stockholm. Okay. okay. <laughs> so. um, and celery juice is the most powerful medicine of our time, healing millions worldwide. Bullshit. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think. Uh, I think I had that one. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you very much. And so, just tell us all. I know you have a new book coming out. Please tell us how we can pre-order it, where we can get it, all about it. Check out DaveAsprey.com, or you can okay. look for Superhuman wherever you like to buy books online, and you can pre-order it right now. Much love and appreciation for everything that you do, Dave. Thank you so much for your Thanks time. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you. This is Johanna Thomas, your resident holistic nutritionist for the Way Forward.